Hi, we're Chip and Sherry Kingsbury, and we've been asked to do a few stories. Uh, we love to do stories, and we have plenty of them, having been on the field for 36 years. Uh, one of our earliest um, memories, uh, experiences in Kenya, uh, happened when we were in language school, and we were about to finish. And I decided to practice my Swahili skills and uh, tell my testimony in Swahili. Uh, I tried doing that, and uh, I got the two words for salvation, to be saved, and to be married mixed up because they're very, very similar. And I ended up telling the people in the church that I was uh, married when I was 12 years old uh, instead of I was saved when I was 12 years old. And uh, of course, the ladies are all looking at Chip, looking daggers at him and all going, you know, thinking he's some uh, cradle robber. <laughs> and I realized immediately I'd said something wrong and the pastor sneaked up behind me and, and he gave me the correct word. So I tried to undo <laughs> what I had done. And, uh, but I think to this day, probably the ladies uh, think that Chip was a, a cradle robber and that he married a young girl. <laughs> We've also been asked to share about some of our best experiences. And after 36 years on the field, we have a lot of best experiences. But I, I think of uh, one day uh, sitting in a Bible college in southern Sudan in a small town called Kotobi, where... I had trained the, the teachers in this Bible school, but now I was sitting with their students and wanting to find out how these students were reacting to the new kind of teaching that these uh, faculty members uh, were doing now that they had been trained for teaching for transformation rather than teaching for information. And uh, so I asked them, you know, what would you do if your, uh, if your teacher came back and said, we're going to go back to the way we used to teach before uh, had this training. Well, how would you react? And one of the students looked at me and the bit of a smile on his face said, uh, we kill him and eat him. And uh, of course, not literally serious, but just indicating how much they would never be willing to go back to the old way of teaching. It's very, very rewarding. I also think about uh, just very recently, uh, as we were getting ready to come on this furlough that we're on now, uh, meeting uh, with a, the group of young men at Daystar University that I mentor, uh, about 15 to 20 uh, young university male students, and they call themselves Iron Men. And they, it was our last time together before we left, and they were kind of going around the room and just sharing some of their experiences uh, in Iron Men and having and getting getting to know me. And several of them, you know, mentioned the, the fact about my being a father figure for them. A lot of them don't have fathers or have absentee fathers. And others just talking about how I, that they were able to be friends with a professor, a doctor, a, a, a lecturer in the university that uh, was so amazing to them that they could have that kind of friendship that we would, could pray together and laugh and joke and climb mountains and do things together. And that, that was a, just a very rewarding uh, experience for me as well. And oh yes, yeah, something, a single word that uh, kind of sums up being a missionary. I, I would say it's rich. It's just a very rich life full of experiences, the ups and downs, but a depth and richness to, uh, to living in a, in cross-culturally living with people that, uh, that encourage and help you and help you become uh, a, a great man of God. That's what's happened for me, just helping me to grow and become the person that God wants me to be. And it's been very rich. It's been a rich experience. I could do it in one word. I'd say perseverance. Because through the good times, through the bad, uh, you need that perseverance to hang in there uh, through the cultural changes and uh, all, those, all those kind of things. Um, trying to understand people and their ways of doing things and not being judgmental. It takes perseverance to go through all of that. So I would probably sum it up in perseverance that handles both the negative and the positive. <laughs> well, thanks for asking us to share our stories. God bless. Bye-bye.